Due to the nature of our missions, UAS-2030 has decided to go with a hexacopter drone. This decision was taken mainly for safety, as a hexacopter can survive the loss of one motor by deactivating the opposite motor, thereby balancing the drone. The frame was chosen based on three main criteria, weight, size, and power. The frame has a size of 1,500 mm squared and a carrying capacity of 10 kg. The inner compartment provides safety for the batteries and electrical components such as the Pixhawk and Jetson Nano. The length of the arm is 550 mm squared and the height of the drone from the ground to the plate at the bottom is 335 mm. The camera gimbal combination is carried by a customized carbon fiber plate cut to specification using a CNC machine. The U8XL 110 kV motor was selected for its high performance and ability to provide a thrust of 6,931 gram force at 70% throttle. In addition to its high efficiency at 7.9 gram force per weight at 70% throttle. Propeller size was chosen based on the thrust required after calculating the final weight of the drone. To optimize lift generation, we attached 760 mm propellers with a 250 mm pitch. This configuration allows the drone to fly for 55 minutes with a 5 kg payload. The drone and its subsystems are powered by four 26 volt batteries connected in two parallel pairs of series. The gimbal and drop mechanism are connected to a 3 cell 12 volt external battery. The Jetson Nano and Bullet are supplied by a buck converter connected in parallel with a 26 volt battery. All power systems are designed to be supplied with power for over one hour and distribution boards are used to regulate the amount of power delivered to each system. Our software of choice for conducting sensor calibration and drone configuration was Mission Planner. It features software in the loop, which was used extensively during mission testing. Uploading missions to the drone's autopilot was also quick and simple using this program. During this year's January to June timeframe, we conducted more than 30 flights with over 200 minutes total flight time. For the most part, we used ArduPilot to conduct the missions, and we only used manual mode when something unexpected happened during our autonomous flights. Takeoff and landing were done either with ArduPilot or by using Mavlink directly via Python's PyMavlink library. We resorted to manual landings only in emergency situations where the autopilot faced a critical error. To measure the accuracy of our instruments, such as the GPS and the IMU, we began with small missions consisting of 5 to 10 waypoints. Initially, our instruments showed a large error of 1 to 2 meters. However, we upgraded the system to a level that can achieve a precision of only a few figures of centimeters. Following this, we have flown the drone several times, each time using a different set of parameters. The average number of waypoints attempted per single flight is 20, although we have done well over 600 points. As a result of the new equipment we mentioned earlier, we were able to hit most of the waypoints, averaging 19 out of 20 per flight, while having an average waypoint miss error of 0.34 meters. Obstacle Avoidance Performance we faced challenges when creating an algorithm that extracted data coming from the competition server to find a safe path between waypoints while avoiding obstacles. By diligently working and continuously improving our systems, we not only achieved these objectives, but also added an inflation factor which accounts for the drone's size to the obstacles and the border of the boundary in order to ensure further safety. Following this, we tested this special algorithm in 12 flights with a variety of obstacle configurations and placements. In order to verify that the object avoidance was successful, we used uniform obstacles. The drone successfully avoided all eight obstacles that were present in our environment. A DSLR Sony Alpha 6100 camera was used to stream 4K images at 30 frames per second. This was connected to an Elgato Camlink 4K capture card. Processing is done via a high-end onboard companion computer, which can process the incoming transmission at high speeds while preventing motion blur due to frame drop. 
object detection, classification, and localization. The tests were conducted via having the drone fly over 20 scattered alphanumeric objects with different geometric shapes as backgrounds. These tests were to gauge the reliability of the communication medium at which the detected and localized objects will be transmitted. A connection is established between the drone and the ground control station using a bullet transmitter and the grounded air grid antenna. First, the onboard companion computer runs the detection algorithm, which scans for objects of interest and crops them using implemented boundaries. Then, it sends them to the ground control station along with their GPS locations. Second, the client code on the ground station runs and receives the detected objects. Several parameters are tweaked to accurately detect objects of interest, such as the min and max area of the blobs that can be detected. For classification, the classifier pipeline, which uses different algorithms, was able to show the correct characteristics of all the 20 objects on the field with few constraints. The classifier will be on the back end of the graphical user interface on the ground control station to classify objects after manually confirming that the detected objects have been received. Mapping was tested by ensuring the triggering pulse for the mission is sent from the flight controller to the onboard companion computer, which then sends the corresponding frame to the ground control station. Tests were also conducted to generate five maps for a small playground. Parameters varied by camera type, focal length, and percentage of overlap. After all the images were received on the ground control station, the stitching was done using the PX4D mapper. The quality of the mapping is sufficient, and the coverage area can be easily scaled up since all the connectivity that is needed is verified. The drop mechanism is a motor pulley system. This allows us to drop the UGV from the required height rapidly. The design of the spool and motor mechanism was based on two main criteria. The mechanism should be able to carry a payload up to 2 kilograms, and the UGV should reach the ground in 60 seconds or less. Once each system was individually tested, we conducted many full mission tests to verify the compatibility of our system integration. Beginning with software in the loop tests, then moving on to full tests conducted in varying environments, such as on grass, sand, as well as in sandstorms and windy conditions. Corrective action was taken for gimbal tuning for better camera stability. The remaining systems all produced very reliable performance.